I am not sure how many people are aware that ACES has made available a free tool a few years ago to help you connect to your home network from pretty much anywhere in the world, as long as there is an internet connection available. And yes, I am talking about the Instant Guard, which is available as a separate app on the mobile device and as an integrated part of the web-based user interface, but only for status info. The idea behind the Instant Guard is to simplify the IPsec VPN setup, a feature that was always a part of the ASUS routers, just not automated. Considering that most people are intimidated by such features, and I know for sure that the large majority of options are left untouched, regardless of the price tag of the router, so a simple way to accomplish a seemingly complex operation is definitely praiseworthy on a home suitable networking device. The IPsec VPN provides a way for two computers to have an encrypted communication over an usually public internet protocol network. In order to securely communicate, the two entities will create an IP security tunnel. Imagine you're in an airport or any other public space where you do have access to the internet, but it's a public Wi-Fi which does come with some serious risks. Depending on the type of data that you're sending or receiving, you could expose your sensitive private data, such as credit card numbers or various authentication passwords. And you could also get your devices infected with malware, which means that besides opening up your current device to hackers, it can also infect other devices from your home network when you connect back to your LAN. Another application that I found incredibly useful is to access the smart devices that are accessible only from my local network. For example, I do have several cameras and an NVR that is limited to local network access. And to see what's going on from outside the house, I use the Instant Guard to gain access to the local interface. This can happen only as long as there is physical connection between the NVR and the router. But how complicated is it to set up the Instant Guard? Like I previously mentioned, the Instant Guard is not an integrated part of the ASUS router application, so you will have to install a separate app. You can get it from the Apple or Android store, but it's easier to just open up the ASUS router app, open settings and then identify the Instant Guard option. This way you should automatically be guided towards the installation of the app and afterwards you should be greeted by the large tap to shield button. There are a few steps before that, which ASUS has only recently added for transparency's sake, I suppose. And it involves the acceptance of the end user license agreement then they wanted to gain access to the local network, which I instinctively denied. But it does need access to it, so I gave it my approval. Then I chose the router that was active at the moment, and we finally reached the Tap to Shield button. Tap on it, and in 2 or 3 seconds it should say you are protected, and a timer should start towards the bottom to show you for how long the VPN has been active. And you don't have to worry about any payment or subscription, since the server is your router, which means that as long as it functions and there's a working internet connection coming from your modem, you should be good to go. I did say that the Instant Guard is a somewhat integrated part of the web-based interface, but it's there just to check on devices that have created tunnels towards the network. To access this info, log into the graphical interface, use the set credentials and then head up to the advanced settings and click on VPN. You should see three options, VPN server, VPN client and instant guard. So click on the last one. Doing so will open a separate window where you can check the status of the instant guard. If it's enabled, you can also disable it. You can also check the log to see what happens between the router and the mobile device, which is the client. Plus, it's also possible to see the connection status. Before going forward, it's important to know that the IPsec tunnel cannot be created unless both the router and the mobile device have internet access. It can be the default LTE or even the public Wi-Fi. Also, I noticed that even if the setting to enable web access from one from under the remote access configuration was set to no, I could still make use of the Instant Guard, which is great. So, as a conclusion, is it safe to use the Instant Guard? It's just as safe as using the IPsec VPN without relying on the app. The point is to keep your private data secure when it's being transmitted using a public Wi-Fi network. But if you're worried about what data ASUS or its partners may get from your network, that's a totally different topic.